We have new information on shots fired during an undercover sting in Robinson Township. Bob Allen joins us live with the new details. Bob. Susan, we just received the criminal complaint from the state attorney general's office. They were in Robinson Township yesterday afternoon to take a child predator suspect into custody. Now, agents with the attorney general's office say they were posing as a 14-year-old boy online when they were contacted by Justin Torres. They say he tried to set up a meeting for sex with the boy at the Holiday Inn along Campbell's Run Road. But instead of meeting the 14-year-old, Torres was confronted in the parking lot by undercover officers. Officials say Torres was sitting in his car, and when officers approached his car, Torres backed up aggressively, almost hitting an officer who fired one shot into the windshield. Police say Torres ignored commands and continued to drive at a high rate of speed, almost hitting multiple officers, and at one point he drove directly towards them. And that's when additional shots were fired at his car. Therese made it out of the parking lot but was eventually pulled over along 2230 and taken into custody. No one was hurt. I spoke with an expert on firearms training this afternoon about how officers deal with situations where they have to open fire, putting innocent people at risk. One of the things that makes it very challenging for law enforcement is that the law enforcement community and the good guys, so to speak, are very conscientious about not hitting anything that they don't intend to hit. You know, so if they have to get into a deadly force situation, if they have to use their firearm, their priority is to make sure that they only hit the bad guys and they only hit the targets that need to be hit. Now back to Therese, he faces a long list of charges, including aggravated assault, unlawful contact with a minor, and trying to elude police. Bob Allen, KDKA News.